Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. I went online to become a private detective. It was a private detective school online, and I paid online. I never heard from them again. I thought to myself, I either got ripped off, or this is my first case. This is a journalistic podcast, Shannon. We vaccinate our listeners with answers. And I'm going to keep lip syncing the important questions until TikTok gives me a show. Shannon, how can the moon landing be real if the moon itself is fake? It's not true, Mike. Oh, isn't it true, Shannon? You're fake. You're a hologram. One in five New Yorkers are food insecure. What's your solution for that, Mike? Fortune cookie. Because that's food and advice at the same time. Shannon, at least have the decency to backstab me, okay? You stab me in the front every time. Some fans can't watch the podcast because they're triggered by our sexuality. And message to those fans, we will leak a sex tape right into your mouth. This is Mike Vecchione Investigates. And you're not better than me. Welcome to another episode of Mike Vecchione Investigates, everybody. I'm here. I'm back in studio. I'm fresh off of a plane from St. Louis. That's in Missouri for those of you guys who can't afford a globe. Um, I'm back. I'm kicking it. And uh, I'm here with fellow investigator. He's not even a guest anymore. I won't call him a guest now. He's ratcheted up to fellow investigator. Mike Figs is in the building, everybody. I'm ready. Figs, ready to investigate, you came baby. in hot. You Very were hot. jacked. Fully you were jacked. towering over me. Did you just come from the gym, and was it chest and arm day today? Today was uh, it was chest and arms, and no, I didn't go to the gym. I was in the concrete jungle, baby. I was in the street. That's the city? Yep. Okay, people don't know yeah. what that oh, is. Sorry, we have sorry, to reference sorry. it. Get a globe. You were in the city, yeah. and what were you doing in the city? I was Pushing doing... people in front of the train? Shit. That's happening now. That's topical. Yep. Figs? Yep, no. Is that why you don't shave? Exactly. Keep you don't the have... COVID off your mouth? 100%. Monkeypox your... free. Monkeypox free. Damn right. Um, what were you doing in the damn city? I was just, you know, doing some push-ups, you know, you know, refilling my metro car because I'm a city guy. Yeah. No Ubers. I take the train. Yeah. What did the men's Dominicans call that? Kicking it? Yeah. I'm not Dominican. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Nothing. You're not? I'm one, Dominican, you're baby. You're one-fourth Dominican? One-half Puerto Rican. One-half Puerto Rican, and hey, that's my, the same. It's the same thing. If my. you reduce the fractions to their lowest terms, that's what it means. Yep. One fourth and one half. It's Correct. not racial. It's not racial on this podcast. But we have to break fractions down to the lowest terms. Not that Puerto Ricans are the lowest terms. That's not what I was saying. It's okay. Keep change, change. You remember yeah. that? No. Keep change, change. How you multiply fractions? Oh yeah. Keep change, change. You keep the cross top, multiply. Cross multiply. Yeah. Are you more of the uh, numerator or denominator in the bedroom? <laughs> Or are you a little improper? Am I right? <laughs> We're having a lot of fun today. I'm We're acute. having a lot of fun today. <laughs> You're acute. Yeah. Oh my god. We did a whole thing on triangles before, so <laughs> I don't. Want, we never came up with that one though. That's solid. Okay, Michael. Cool. Uh, yeah. <laughs> um, the queen is dead. The queen of England is dead. She's gone. She's passed. Natural causes. Do you believe it, Michael? I don't believe it. No. I don't believe it. What do you it. think happened? I think that I think King Charles had enough of her BS. Kingst Charles. King, I think Kink Charles. I mean King, King Charles. <laughs> I Isn't think that Prince Andrew? Kinky Charles or Prince Andrew? <laughs> one of the one of the he one. He was on Epstein's guys. island. Prince Charles was not on Epstein's island. True. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But he was with Camilla Parker Bowles. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. That's right. And she hung in there. She did. She cheated. She got. She cheated. With the prince, yeah, and everybody frowns on that and says, "No, that's immoral." It's like, is it? She hung in there. Uh, Princess Diana had an accident, and then she just swooped in, and now she's a queen in consort. Yeah, which that's not a card. Can't use that. You queen, but queen in consort is not a card. What is that? I don't know. That's not Can in you, Game of Thrones. No, it's not in you Game of I mean? Thrones, and it's not in the other one, the new one, Ring of Power, Ring of uh, Worm, Ringworm. No. Ring of, uh, what's, no, that's, what's the new one called? Something of the Dragons? House of the Dragons. House of the Dragons. Yeah, 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 sorry. Thank you. House, which neither of us own. Because our numbers aren't <laughs> good enough. 
Can you guys please like and subscribe? Maybe um, chat it up and get the algorithm talking about us? Because me and Mike are never going to own a home. I'm and trying, Mike lives yeah. in the Bronx where a home is $57. True. Yep. All I need is $57. Yes. I have a rough seventeen ninety five in my checkings right now. You have a checking? Yeah. I share with my mom. It's a Capital One checking. It's a Capital One checking. Yeah. You get points if you... If you renew your Metro card on the fifteenth, you're looking sexy today. And Thank you're you, looking bro. Beef cakey. What's I am. the What's the change that I'm seeing? You're glowing. I might be pregnant, Mike. Yeah, pregs. I think so. I might be trans pregnant. Uh, no, I am. Um, I had a Sunday last night. I had a whole yeah. vanilla Sunday to myself, and I'm sweating it out right now. I, I need to see a doctor. <laughs> really? Did yeah. you? Oh yeah. What do you like? Double scoops? Vanilla? I just like fudge. fudge. I don't like syrup. I like fudge. Right. You syrup know what I mean? Is bad. I don't like chocolate syrup. Syrup is high fructose corn syrup, which mm -hmm. sounds like a curse word. Mm -mm. I want melted chocolate, like real melted chocolate. You know? Mm. Chocolate that was once solid, then melted. Solid, then melted. And mm. where did you get it? Did you get it from... Um, I got it from Lewin. Costco. What's the one? Lewin? Lumen Leaf? It's like Lewin something. Shannon, can you finish this sentence for me? The ice cream that I'm talking about is Oh, Lewin. I know which one. The it's one that's really just high. air. It's air. It's very high uh, end. It's like it's, yeah. Swedish yeah. or oh. Scandinavian ice cream. I it's not even now. from this country. I thought you were referring to the one that's like whip, that it's like 100 calories for the whole pint. Oh, no, no, you no. You know no. what I'm talking about? Yeah. Halo. You ever yeah, have Halo? I had yeah. Halo, yeah. Are you talking about that one? Van Leeuwen. Van Leeuwen. Yes. German. It's German. But I think it's Austrian. It's, it's one of the countries that Hitler shouldn't have took over but did. Um, but you know they make good ice cream. I'm not yeah. condoning what Hitler did. Yeah, the yeah. ice cream is fantastic, though. Yeah. Um, I was in St. Louis. Have you ever been? No. It's pretty. Alabama. Great. It's Missouri. Oh, okay. Mike is. You're one of the. I never had a globe. Don't don't know. And Shannon, I have to tell you, uh, I ran into Andrew Honorkamp. He's oh, one of the oh, fans. Yes, the, from He's from one the, of our right, fans. The, He's one right of the big chats. ones. Yeah. He's one of the. Yeah, and uh, he came to both shows on Friday, nice. and he's such a great guy. And then we went to go eat afterwards, and uh, guess what? Everything what? is closed because St. Louis closes at 11 p.m. The whole Westport and the St. Louis Funny Bone is unbelievable. The staff there is great. Let me say that. <laughs> you should go there, even if I'm not there. But um, The city and, that always sleeps. This, <laughs> thank you yeah. for saying that. <laughs> That's, that's what they say. That's what I read. And uh, I used this, to have it in Carta Encyclopedia. Can I help it, too, with the joke? Sorry. The city that's on fentanyl. I mean, the whole city's like on cat tranquilizers. Going to bed at 11? What are you, what are you guys even doing there? Ugh. Ugh. So frustrating that we were going to go find food, and then there was no food to find. And then Hunter Camp was like, well, I'm out of here, man. I'm going to go. And just tr in tradition of our fans, Hunter Camp, I'm talking to him. Right. And he goes, I have an electric bike. I work from home in my basement. So I'm talking directly to him. Can't get out of your basement. Can't get up. He goes, that's me. First of all, I don't feel like you're talking down to me. You're just nailing it perfectly. <laughs> and then um, he goes, he goes, I exercise. I do like 45 minutes on my electric bike. I go and I'm kind of like just done with my set. And I'm wa we're walking as he's telling me this. Mm -hmm. So I go, oh, electric bike. Yeah. Then I go, wait a second. You don't have to pedal an electric bike. He goes, yeah, it helps you a lot. It helps you. I go, that's how, that's reflective of how my fans exercise on an electric bike. And they call that exercise. And Hunter Camp said that and I was blown away. I'm like, this is who I'm, this is the, these are the people that I'm talking to. And Shannon um, craps all over me and goes, and goes, no, Mike, it's like, no, it's actually the demographic. <laughs> He was telling me about an electric bike that he uses for exercise. He goes, no, you pedal a little bit, and then it pedals a little bit. It's like, oh, is it teamwork, Honor Camp? Is it teamwork, you and the bike working together for a mutual cause of you exercising? You don't do that. You no. come to the city, and you do. Yeah. it looks like you're doing pull-ups. You have a um, Straight up pull-up. Bartender. You ever heard of the bartenders? No, what's that? Just dudes in the park uh, doing pull-ups on the bar. That's me, baby. Wow. You know? Prison style. Prison style. Timberland boots on. No shirt. No shirt. Just Tim's. And you came to the city early for that. Really early. Yeah. Got a little tan. After your big fat ice cream night you had last night. Right, let's take it easy with the fat. Well, but you nice. had a big... I mean, you, you just you, had a... Uh, come you on. had a slip up. I did. And, and it you was came over and you were... When you came in, you were towering over me. And Shannon noticed it. These are Timberland boots. I don't know if it was a Timberland boots. Mike, if, if I take the Tim's off, we're equal. Are you on PEDs? 
Am I on what? Performance enhancing drugs. Yes. Yes, yes. It's called Kratom. Kratom. Mm-hmm. And they sponsor this network, right? Yeah. So they're great. That's how I get paid, Mike. You get paid on, you get paid in Kratom? In Kratom. That's incredible. I have a whole key Kratom bowl. Use promo code Mike Figs. Kratomline.com. What's going on with you besides an ice cream pig out and an <laughs> early morning workout? Rocking and rolling, man. Yeah. Yeah, I'm grooving. I'm 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 riding. I'm trying to, you know, trying to be less of a hack. Yeah. And uh hack wins now, by the way. I know, but I but I I've I've been in the stand. They they just passed me oh, as an MC, you okay. know. And I know I know the big guys are oh, MC. <laughs> But I'm out there crushing, you know, yeah. four months in a row, 10 spots a day. Wow. And uh, and I'm seeing all the big guys, and, and I'm, I'm growing, and I f- it feels good. Yeah. Yeah. It feels good to grow. Yeah. Um, also, my biceps are growing, Your too. biceps are yeah. growing. Do you, do you mm-hmm. find the crowd gets intimidated by you? All the time. I wear long sleeves just so they don't see the guns. Look at that. Wait, look at that. You see that? That's all pecs. I'm like Jesse Ventura from The Predator. Let's just be honest. You are. But you're a sexier version. Thank you. I'm not, I'm not a racist. You're not a racist <laughs> that we know of. But that's before we dig into your tweets. <laughs> Wait, what? I mean, who? What are we gonna Mike. find there? No, I, I mean, that's like a mob graveyard, <laughs> probably. Um, uh, the Queen. Let's get back to it. Oh, Our yeah. fans are dying to know yeah, your well. royal reaction to it. <laughs> well, it se- it seems to me some people were celebrating. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Irish. Yeah. They were celebrating any kind of conquered lands. Yeah. They were celebrating. Philippines. Like, Can't we just forgive and just move on? She's a queen. She's a queen. Royalty. She's old. She's think, an old woman. Do you think when she dies and she goes to heaven, she's lived such a privileged life. She goes to heaven, she's going to go, is this it? I mean, this is a step down for me. This is trash. Yeah. Heaven is a dumpster fire compared to where I was living. Yeah. You do you think that's true? It might be. She might ask for a better place. Yeah. You know? Nothing beats a palace. True. Jesus was like, you'll be in my kingdom of heaven. And she's like, I was already in a kingdom. Sorry. And I was ruling it. Mm-hmm. I was you mm-hmm. down here. Mm-hmm. Right? So is, this, is this only 4G? I know. It's like it's on 5G. Reception. What are you going to show the queen that she hasn't already seen? Yeah, there better be dragons in heaven. <sighs> I bet you there's no dragons that in heaven. It would be so cool if there were dragons in heaven. If there's no dragons for the queen in heaven, I mean, you know, no disrespect, but... Let's call back from the old podcast. No disrespect. Yeah, sorry. That was a good one. I didn't one. mean to bring that up. No, well, we lost Justin to the dogs. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> I'm sure he'll come back eventually. We're waiting for him to come back. We've got uh, posters up. Return he's, him. He's training a to mini the small sh- studio. I think I saw him in the same park with a mini schnauzer. He's got a, a new podcast sh- now, and he's moved on. He's got like, he's had two or three new podcasts. It's like when somebody dates somebody, two or three, and then he's. I think he's got a really good one right now. Yeah. And I'm not going to plug it because I don't like to see anybody succeed but me. That's why I'm here. Thank you. Because I'm not successful, Mike. No. We have to boost each other up. Yeah. Because we're in the grind. I'm going to give you my Tim. Yeah. Yeah, I need height (laughs) height enhancing. I have to go to a female perspective on that. You Mm -hmm. offered me Mm -hmm. only from a um, half man and Puerto Rican status of... uh, Everything's identity. Mm-hmm. So you've offered me your opinion about the queen, but I have to go to some women because the queen was a woman and we have women behind protected glass here yeah. running our equipment, which mm-hmm. is usually a man's job, but we let our women do it. Mm-hmm. They don't let them do it. They've earned it because they know how to um, operate equipment. And for you men out there going, that's just hogwash. Mm-hmm. Women can't operate equipment and they'll never be in space. Our women are operating equipment and someday they will be in space. Mm-hmm. And women can be astronauts, Mike. True. Shannon, your reaction to the Queen's death? Um, I guess it's sad when anybody dies. Yeah. But um even royalty? I guess so. But for me, selfishly, when I go through the Daily Mail, the website to get stories for shows that I work on, yeah. it's like now there's just so much stuff about the royals. So I have to do yeah. so much more scrolling to get past it because yeah. no one here really cares but it is sad i guess yeah and it makes you tired to do so much scrolling right do you feel like um some kind of a servant when you have to do that because it's the queen and then you're like a peasant to scrolling 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 it's like where does it end yes there's like a hierarchy mm-hmm. even in her death she's still making us work yes she's still oppressive yeah and natalie where do you land on this you're young now 
Yeah, I guess I don't have too many strong feelings about it. I think it's What are your strong feelings, Natalie? She... <laughs> Just let's me and Mike want to know about your strong feelings. I think it's um repulsive cuz that's a strong one. That is a pretty strong oh, feeling. Oh my god, that will get us some clicks. <laughs> I'm repulsed that she died. She oh should have gone god. for at least 10 more years. Yes. I mean, she was up there though. And I think Mike makes a good point. Who gets the dragon eggs? Yeah. Is she the Khaleesi? Do you think she died naturally or did she die on Milk of Poppy? I love Milk of Poppy. I love it. The Maester, the Maester, which is their doctor in Game of Thrones, gives Milk of Poppy. True. Yeah. It's so great. That's you like sure their was, heroine. You sure it wasn't Milk Cream of, of Tartar? Cream of Tartar. <laughs> That's it, Red Lobster, which is kind of like a, a royal place where you go for like special <laughs> occasions. All right, guys. I want to take a second to talk about our friends over at rockauto.com. Ever have a friend that has a guy? Nobody can find something, but your friend has a guy? Well, I've got your guy for auto parts, and it's rockauto.com. They've been in business for 20 years, and while every other business in this country might be raising prices or low on stock, when it comes to auto parts, you've got a guy. Take advantage of your guy. RockAuto.com is unbelievable, guys. They're not raising prices. They have all of the parts that you need in stock. Contact them. Fix your car up. Make it nice. Go on a date. Have a life. I'm telling you, RockAuto.com has the auto parts you need in stock at reliably low prices. That's what I'm trying to say. If you've got a used car, it's probably appreciated in value. The car market is hot, which is why now's the time to keep your car well-maintained. It feels good knowing you're driving a reliable car, and rockauto.com makes it easy with every part you need at low prices. So go check out rockauto.com. If you're looking for auto parts, Rock Auto is your guy. Everybody's got to have a guy. And let them know we sent you. At checkout, yell at them. And I know about this from Mike Vecchione Investigates Podcast. Just kidding, guys. There's a box to put in our show name. You don't need to scream at them even though I do appreciate you screaming out the name of my podcast. Once more, rockauto.com with all the auto parts you need at amazing prices. That's rockauto.com. That is your guy. All right, guys, let's get back into it. Um, <laughs> okay, Queen is gone. My theory, thanks for asking. My theory, guys, is that Hinkley Jr. is at it again. I think Hinkley Jr. killed the Queen in order to impress Jodie Foster because shooting Reagan didn't impress it. She became a lesbian, which is accepted, but she became a lesbian for because he shot Reagan, Hinkley Jr., and then he went to a mental institution. He got out, and he was making great music. We've already documented that on this podcast, his YouTube page. His songs are really good. And... I think he took a shot at the Queen and succeeded this time in hopes of impressing Jodie Foster again. And Jodie Foster, there's been no reaction from her, which means she's high maintenance, and she's being a little bit of a bee right now. My God, you got it. You're gonna have to tell me who this Hinkley, Hinkley Jr. Jr. Is. Is this, oh my what is God, it? Gen Z for sleep. I mean, you're wondering why you're not connecting with the Hinkley fans. Jr. Was the guy who <laughs> shot Reagan. Oh, I he, thought it was something yes. from Death Wish or no. like an old movie or Hinkley something. Hinkley Jr. was the, he's the, our last living presidential assassin. A little respect. Oh, okay, sorry. He tried to shoot Reagan. Be, but to what impress does Jodie Foster have to do he with tried this? To impre- he tried to shoot Reagan to impress Jodie Foster. I'm sorry, this isn't oh. on TikTok. <laughs> Damn. Well, you went from Game of Thrones to fucking Hinkley Jr. or whatever. I'm all over the place, You're Mikey. You have to calm down a little bit. I have to calm down. <laughs> So do you do you know what where's the beef is? Where's the beef? Yeah, I don't. I'm not okay. familiar with where's okay. the beef. Well, it was a Wendy's commercial in the '80s where an old woman <laughs> went around to Wendy's competitors and she just started. She would ask for a burger and they would give her a burger in a small, in a small. Are you gonna make me play pong or a, something? In a small bun. Let me finish this <laughs> sorry, explanation. I'm sorry, on no sleep sorry, right now. I'm sorry. running on fumes, and I have to teach. Sorry. And it was it's a small piece of meat in a, in a bun. And then uh, they would give it to her, and she would go, "Where's the beef?" And that was hilarious. That's what the queen is saying to in us. heaven right now. Ooh, slam! Oh, sorry, I was bringing. Do you want to see a commercial? Yeah, real let's quick? let's show Mike this. Oh, commercial. wow, nice! And then look, wait, Shannon, before you do it, <laughs> Mike will see the commercial, and then can we cut to me reacting to Mike seeing this commercial for the first time? That's how the internet works now, apparently. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. So Mike has never seen a "Where's the Beef" commercial, and I'm an older. Um, American, and I, and now I'm going to react to Michael watching a Where's the Beef commercial. Okay. 
Oh, there's the queen. It's a McDonald's arch. When, when you drive to Wendy's and order a single, you get more beef than the Whopper or the Big Mac. Monty Python? At Wendy's, you never have to ask, where's the beef? I mean, I don't think it got, we, we didn't get her saying it, right? We didn't get a good shot I of her saying it. I can't believe I only picked, I picked the one where they cut her off. Right, they cut it. her off. But that's the gist of it. It was very Benny Hill, yeah. but it was very like cartoonish. Yeah. And we loved that. In don't the respect 80s. the elders. That's what I but got there, from that. The elders didn't take it back then. Yeah. The elders kind of have to take it now because Cuomo put them in homes and they were got COVID. <laughs> but in their kind of like, you know, worn down. Yeah. Because of that and bingo and shuffleboard and all this, our elderlies mm -hmm. in the eighties were gangsters, man. Where's the beef? They would yell at people, and we thought it was pretty funny. What's your reaction, Mike? So let me react to your reaction. Well, as 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 a millennial, uh, you're a millennial or a yeah. Gen Z? M millennial. Thank you. I appreciate okay. that. Yeah, you're young. Yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> young and hot. Thanks. But hold on. Sorry. Okay, yeah, yeah. For those of you listening, he yeah. was doing. For those of you who can't pecs. afford a computer, yeah. he was wiggling his pecs. Uh -huh. You see, yep. Jesus, little Jesus over there taking Jesus. And Jesus for a is ride. popping on the um <laughs> he has a crucifix him. popping off, but that's not disrespectful. That's just him trying to do his uh his chest. Yeah, yeah. Uh yeah, I mean, you know, cute commercial. No, no seatbelt right. on, you know, that's not good. Kids see that. Seatbelts were belt. optional in the eighties. Oh yeah. We did whatever we wanted. Wow. And we'd let our kids smoke. Good and, times. and we'd do whatever and um kids would eat breakfast cereal and it wasn't eleven dollars a box <laughs> back then. And breakfast cereal was the thing you would get up because now parents are like, I don't know if you know parents, but they're very stressed <laughs> out all the time now. And they're like, my kid gets up. I got to get up. It's like, when did that start? Because yeah. I just got up and you went and got cereal. That's what cereal was invented for. Yeah. So you wouldn't parents wouldn't have to make breakfast. Yeah. But you could put you put tricks, which is pure sugar mm -hmm. uh, brought to you by a rabbit, mm -hmm. which is a friendly cartoon emblem to let you know it's safe to eat. And you would put them in a bowl, put a little uh, milk and not oat milk. Mm -hmm. or almond milk, mm -hmm. regular 2% mm -hmm. from a cow's udder, just freshly squeezed milk into a bowl, and then you would slop it up, and that was your breakfast. Back in your and day. Was back in a, my day. And then was there a milkman that came with like, here's your, that, gla here's your glass of milk, Michael? Michael wasn't the fifth. And was it like a, like you popped the top and, you want, we got chocolate too on the bus if you want the chocolate milk, Michael? Is that, was, is that what happened? Like it wasn't the 50s. Are you it a honeymooner? Was, it was the 80s. You're not a honeymooner? I, do, I did watch the show. It's a good show. But it wasn't on the air you when sure? I was growing up. You didn't wait, like, did you didn't oh, get the TV guide, mom? And you looked at the TV guide and sit at eight o'clock and watch. You're watching NBC. Coming up next, the Honeymooners, followed by the Odd Couple. That wasn't you were. I had TV Land. Yeah, but you lived in TV Land. No, I lived in it, and I did watch the Honeymooners. It was off the air by the time I watched it. Okay. but I did watch it. You are correct. Okay. I know what it is. I know some of the episodes. And uh, that's domestic abuse now, by the way, when he goes, yeah. pow, yeah. to the moon, Alice. Yeah. Domestic abuse, not acceptable today. <laughs> Hilarious back then, not funny now. Yeah, I don't know about that. Maybe you shouldn't hit it. Kratom, uh, what was the guy's name? Kratom. Oh. Uh, Cramden. No, Cramden. Do, Cramden. Yeah, Cramden. Wait, I'm Norton, Cram Norton. Norton and Cramden. Norton. Yeah, Norton. Yeah. Norton I'm going to hit it today, Norton. Yeah. And he was a bus driver. And, uh, Union. And uh, he... Made enough for both of them to live. That doesn't happen anymore either. Mm -hmm. And uh, but so I watched it, but I wasn't. It wasn't on the air when I was uh, growing up. But I'll tell you what was on the air: Love Boat. Do you know Love Boat? Fantasy Island. That's when Dukes of Hazard, which TV, is now racist. That's when TV just got color. Yes, yeah, yeah. the late seventies. <laughs> it's a little. It's not too much farther after it got color, but the late seventies. Yeah, we HBO was like new. Uh -huh. HBO was like a brand new thing. Yeah, ah, I could talk the glory days uh, forever with you. You know, you did say something that I can relate to because I see have see something, a, say something, see something, say something. New York, New York one dot gov. I uh, I have a stepson, and when he wakes up, I wake up. When yeah. he wakes up, he's immediately like, "Come on, yeah. Mike, come on, Mike, let's go. Wake up, make me right. breakfast. Let's watch YouTube or whatever." Back in the day when my dad, yeah. I would wake up, I wouldn't see my dad for hours. Right. He would be sleeping. He wouldn't wake up till, he worked at nighttime. He'd wake up at 1 or 12. I'd be up at 8 o'clock. With the cartel? With, yep. <laughs> now I'm Mexican, Mike? I, I'm I heading out of here. This is not, I thought, I thought, thought this was a clean show, Mike. 
It's an organization. <laughs> Thought he was working with some kind of He was a security guard okay. at a Montefiore hospital. All right. Okay, my I'm stand corrected. It's a different cartel. I stand corrected. Uh, he was part of the solution. He was security. True. Now you're a stepdad. Do you have to wake up early so your stepson can yell you're not my dad? Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're the, you're I always dad. wondered about that. He can yell, you're not my dad, and you can go, well, your real dad is not here. I pay all the bills. So do you want to come to terms with that reality, or do you want to keep having this conversation? He wrote, uh, to his first day of school, They wanted uh, the teachers wanted him to talk about himself. Yeah. And he goes, my name is this, I, live, I do this, I do that. Um, my mommy has a husband yeah. named Mike, yeah. and he is not my father. Wow. I, that he is, really knows who he is. He is not And he my knows father. who you are. He and knows he knows who you're not. Who I am. Right? He is not. God. I was like, I was like, where the hell did that come from? These kids cut deep sometimes. Why would you say, you know, why would you even say he's that? He's my friend. You could have said he's my best day friend. Of school. He second day he's of school. a great guy. Not my dad. Great guy. <laughs> Pays all the bills. Pays Puts all, all the, the fucking oh, friggin' bills. Puts the food on the table. <sighs> God. I got out of character. I, I'm sorry, Mike. Part of it is narcissistic teaching. We're mm-hmm. teaching these kids to be narcissists. Get up and talk about yourself. Get about mm-hmm. how about Lincoln? Mm-hmm. How about mm-hmm. talk about Lincoln? How about Thomas Edison? Ben Franklin? Talk about any of those guys? My like, Angel. Oh, guys only. Guys only, Mike. Guys I thought only? this was a. I thought you were. Is that a? Um, oh, it's fans only. I, fans only. It's only fans. only fans. Sorry, <laughs> dyslexic. I uh, wasn't sure about that, but I think everybody's just going to have their own page now. I don't think education is going to be. I think everything's going to be on an app. I said this before, 100%. and we're not going to have to worry about going to school and socializing. It's crazy. All. No one will make eye contact. That'll be considered um, sexual assault. So <laughs> everybody will just mind their P's and Q's. Yeah. If you're not looking at your phone now, you're considered a weirdo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What are you looking at? Why are your eyes wandering all around? Shannon, do you get that? Let me get a woman's perspective. We haven't talked to you since the queen. <laughs> we asked you about the queen, and you were very measured about it. Mm-hmm. Our fans are ready to flip out over the queen, but you are very measured. I have to scroll more <laughs> in my nails. It's like, Shannon, can you drop a little of the Staten Island and get global? Sorry. But my nails. You didn't say that. It's like, come on. It was, you implied it, Shannon. <laughs> it's called implication. I heard it. Do you want Mike? Mics. <laughs> Double mics. Yeah. You've been mic'd. Mike and Mike. Yeah. We're going on tour. Oh, God. <laughs> You need to do something. You need to help me. No, I need, I need help. Can you get big and help me? You need to help me. I don't know. You need to help me. We're like bro. chasing each other in circles. You're, have your, how, You're the this? young blood. You're the young yeah. blood rising to the top. My, my cholesterol is rising to the top, Mike. Well, if you would stop eating pounds of ice cream at night and then get up and working out during the day, leaving your stepson to fend for himself so he has to go to school... And completely diss you. Hard. How did he diss you so hard? <sighs> oh my God. He says sweet been a things. Diss. He says it nice things. should have been yeah. a diss track. At home. Yeah, he says In nice private things. where it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But on the streets. Tell your teacher. Tell Miss Apples. Tell your teacher. I'm, I'm, I'm your stepdad. I'm your best friend. Nope. Yeah. Mike, not my father. Not that's my a, father. That's what I got hit with. It's all right. It's okay. It's so disrespectful. It's all right. I'm whispering for emphasis. I'll tell you the Everybody's truth. going loud. I like to go soft. Yeah. You kind of sound like Tim Dillon. Oh, no. I don't have those kind of numbers. <laughs> God, I want them. Yeah. Shannon, what did I just ask you? Something about eye contact. Eye contact. Oh. Scrolling. Uh, we're turning into eyes. China. No we're eye just contact. On our, we're just on our phones mm-hmm. constantly. Mm-hmm. And and the weirdos are the guys who, because uh, the weirdos are the guys who are looking up and mm-hmm. looking around. Like, I feel it sometimes. Modern day exhibitionist. Yes. Do you find that to be weird, Shannon, when a guy's not on his phone? Do you go, what's this weirdo looking at? It's called mind your business, sir. <laughs> You're making me feel uncomfortable. No, I think I'm, I'm old, on the older side, so mm-hmm. I still expect people to make eye contact. I think yeah. younger people, maybe like Natalie's age, maybe around <sighs> there is where it seems weird. It just got very real housewives. So this is, <laughs> yeah, this is the old person Maybe podcast. Natalie's age. She's Natalie, so defend, your, defend your generation. What are you guys doing? What the hell are you doing? What are you doing? I don't know. People are, I think everyone on the subway is always looking at their phones regardless. But I don't think it's that weird. No, one out of every. um, Don't stare at me. One person at the car is naked, completely naked. And no one's even looking at him. 
yeah, is something more own... important on your phone <laughs> than for... a man who's sex positive, that's which for... is what I call a naked person on the subway. <laughs> that's for my own mental health that I'm not looking at the naked man on the subway. <laughs> And that's why he gets away with with, with anything because no yeah, one's looking no, at him. And I bet you don't give him a dollar either. Give if him he's something. Naked? Probably not. Yeah, he's naked, and he don't worry about it. he has nowhere to put it. <laughs> he's probably gonna put it in his savings account. Yeah, okay. or under his under his armpit. You know, women or, could women could put dollars in their bosoms. Yeah, let the guy put it under his armpit or in his mask. He probably still has a mask on, even though he's naked. In that's that scenario. that's hysterical. <laughs> Naked. Shannon, are we having a good episode? I think Mike brought it, and I'm just on no sleep, but I drank coffee anyway, and I drank the high-test coffee that they make here at Gas <laughs> Digital, full of Kratom <laughs> and Yo Kratom and um, all Machine kinds of Machine gun coffee. Rock Auto, I think, Rock had Auto. some nuts and bolts in there. Like, all of our sponsors <laughs> chime into the coffee, and uh, I think I tasted a little Yo Delta, <laughs> which we can use this. <laughs> it's a sheaf cup. <laughs> sheaf underwear. Yeah, sheath underwear. I don't. They don't sponsor. They they don't sponsor. Oh, well, <laughs> sorry. Let's go back to Wendy's. But we would love to have them. This smoke break is brought to you by YoDelta.com, the official getting high sponsor of the Gas Digital Network. We have people who wear underwear who watch this podcast too. And this is a very sexual podcast. Except for the guy on the train. Except for the guy on the but train. He is very sex sexual. Sex the positive. The naked guy. The naked guy, yeah. Yeah, but no one thinks of him as sexual. Everybody thinks of him as a nuisance. Mm -hmm. And I'm using air quotes right now. <laughs> the conductor. Because he's naked. Yeah. That's what he calls himself, probably, the conductor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Give him a dollar. Give him you something. ever befriend one of those guys? I used to see the same guy all the time on the train. He would go, change for the blind, change for the blind, change for the blind. What about the guy who coaches the basketball team? That guy was on the, he was a Queens guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, but it was the same guys in the village for years and years. Okay. And they would just do it as a hustle. And we all knew they would do it as a hustle. Yeah. And they knew that we knew yeah, they were yeah, doing yeah. it as a hustle. But for everybody else, yeah. would, no one else knew. You ever see the guy with the bass guitar who would sit down and play, and he would do crowd work? Oh, uh, no. Maybe that was on, in the Bronx. A hilarious dude, and he would have a bass guitar. And he'd be like, "Look at this guy over here." He was doing Josh oh, Adam Myers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be like, "Look at this guy with his T-shirt. Give me a dollar player." And uh, and it would be hilarious because then he would just he would rag on everybody. God, that and I was like, "This guy's doing crowd work." He would get jealous because that guy would kill. Murder. He would kill. Murder. Murder. Made a. Made, he was hilarious. Well, street performers. Yeah, we're not far from it. We're not. You know, we're indoor now, but yeah. I mean. 30 minutes in, Shannon. I think we should go to plugs, and then um, let's get right into the investigations. We can't waste Mike. He's only here for a certain amount of time. Um, I'm sure he's got to go back to the gym for, like, leg lifts <laughs> or something, or squats. Another and, uh, Shannon, you have a heart out because you hate this <laughs> show. I think. I love I this think, show. I think you hate the show, I Shannon. And no, I, think I just have to be home by seven. Yeah. And now that school's back in, there's so much more traffic. Yeah. So I'm scared to leave much later than that. I love the show. <laughs> You're scared to leave Staten Island because of schools back in now, Shannon? Yeah, there's so much traffic. There's so much traffic. Even on the boat? I don't take the boat. I the take ferry? the express bus. You take the express crazy bus. Crazy people on that ferry. There's crazy people on the ferry? Because it's free. That's oh. where the craziest hang out. Why? Because you don't have because it could be anybody. Is everybody um, emotionally overboard on that? <laughs> God, we just try to suck every joke <laughs> we can out of the um, podcast before we get to plugs. Let's go to plugs. <laughs> okay. I'm at Comic Mike V on all social media platforms, guys. I have um, cards now with a QR code, and you know I gave out the cards all weekend, and uh, I forgot to tell people that there's a Q. I said I mentioned a QR code, but you really have to explain it out because the older people in the crowd are like, "Yeah, I'll take your card," and then it's just like, "Oh, I have your card now. I have this guy's card." It's like, no, you have to put your camera on photo and then put the QR code on it, and then it links. I don't think I explained it very well because I didn't get that many followers from it. So, but I have new cards. But for you guys listening at Comic Mike V on all social media platforms, MikeVecchione.com for dates. I have a slew of dates coming up. I was just in St. Louis, the Funny Bone, unbelievable, great weekend. Um, I have a private in Illinois. Uh, I'll be in Las Vegas 
I'm doing the Comedy Cellar Rio the week before Skank Fest, and then I'm going right into Skank Fest. So I'm there for a week, Shannon, in Las Vegas. And then uh, Wisecrackers, October 21 and 22. Uh, Magoobie's Joke House, that's for cancer, November 10th. And then Comedy Works Denver, November 11th through 13th. And um, that rounds out the year. So look for me on the road, MikeVecchione.com, at ComicMikeV on all social media platforms. Special is edited. For those of you asking, some of you are hitting me up. And uh, thank you for your support. Uh, I got done editing, and now it's up to 800-pound gorilla to um, do the final touches on it. And then we're going to try to sell, or it will be on YouTube. I'll let you know the platform that it's on. Thank you for your support. It's a really good special. I'm really proud of it. Thank you. And please continue to spread the word about this podcast. We're working very hard and uh, to give you the best content that um, you've ever had. And uh, that's my plugs. Michael, what do you got? Um, first off, there's Young lot, Guns? There's Young Guns, uh, but there's a lot of comics out here that go on stage and dance, and then there's professionals, and that's Mike Vecchio. Yes, thank you for that plug. Okay. You Watch gave me a plug. This guy, I just want to let you know, I've been watching you for a long time. As thank a young you. buck, I'm only 21. Right. And uh, you're one of the best. So make sure you're fucking. I would love to. Been watching special. me at night. Let's make it hot. Nick at night. Yeah. Ooh. TV land. TV land. <laughs> uh, Young Guns. Uh, Young subscribe. Guns. Yeah. Check it out on YouTube. We record over here at Gas. Uh, the great Gas Digital. <clears throat> me and Robbie Goodwin at Robin Figs Young Guns on YouTube. Check it out. Also, um, Auto Bar in Baltimore, uh, Saturday the eighth. It's gonna be me, me, Robbie, Lamare Lee. Come by. Come check it out. Get a ticket. And uh, yeah, I'll be somewhere in October, but I can't say it yet. Okay. So I'm just going to keep my mouth shut. It'll be a reveal. You'll reveal it on Young Guns? I will reveal it on Young Guns Live, Thursday, 8 p.m. Yeah, and you guys are playing serious, right? Nobody shooting blanks over Young Guns? No, we are big, we're big boys there. Big boys. We are fertile. All right, <laughs> you heard it, guys. Young Guns, check it out. Record right here at Gas Digital. Shannon, what do you got? You can follow me on Instagram at ShannonLee6982 and listen to my podcast, The Thing Is, Ding. We talk about bad dates, fighting, and ghosts. And actually, last week, we just recorded our first official ghost hunt. I think I saw that yeah. on, on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Maddie and I, along with uh, Brian Six and Ryan Shaner, we went out to the Catskills to a, a haunted mansion. We all spent the night and we did an investigation. So uh, we're aiming to have that out uh, the first week of October, like spooky month of October. So Follow me on Instagram, ShannonLee6982, for updates on when that releases, but I'm really excited about it. A sexy haunted mansion? Maybe. You're gonna Ooh. Find out. <laughs> Ooh. Wow. <laughs> uh, wherever you listen to Mike Vecchio and Investigates, you can also watch it live for free every single Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern at gasdigitalnetwork.com slash live. That's absolutely for free, but the best way to support the show, if you have the means to do so, is to go to gasdigitalnetwork.com. Use promo code MVI. You will get a one-week free trial, which gives you access to every single episode of this show, as well as every episode of every single show on all of Gas Digital Network, all for free for one week. Uh, if you listen on iTunes or YouTube, rate, review, tell a friend, comment. Every little bit of interaction helps the show grow. If you have your own video investigation to submit, send it into Mike at MikeVecchioneInvestigates at gmail.com uh, to possibly be played on the show. Go to uh, podcastmerch.com for T-shirts, hoodies, and mugs, and that's it. Shout out to Adam Honerkamp for coming to the shows in St. Louis and for being such an avid supporter of the show. My only advice to you, um, get a regular bike. Maybe you get a regular bike that you pedal and that's not electric. You're better than that, Hunter Camp. You're better. Okay, <laughs> we have to do some investigations now and we're gonna get right to the investigations. Mike, please chime in on this. Let's do it. The first one, embarrassing free advertising on Queen's Hearse angers mourners. Now this is a slap in the face right here, okay? The guy was advertising on uh, the hearse where the queen was being shipped to burial. William Pervasi. Now, I don't know if that's, um, I don't know if they made the coffin, but how do you advertise for coffins then if you can't do it on the coffin? You know what I mean? I think that's almost a fair play. Yeah. I've switched my opinion within three seconds of seeing that. He should be able to advertise. How else are you going to do it? It's too morbid anywhere else. Yeah, you know, you definitely can't do it on the inside of the casket. Right, it's rude. It's you know? rude, and it doesn't. No one sees that except for a dead person. They're not buying anything. No, definitely. You know, they're yeah. buying power is gone. De finished, depleted. 
Uh, you got to advertise on the outside of a coffin. Yeah. Pervasi Funeral Home. Bumper sticker? Is that too much? Uh, a little tacky. On a hearse? Yeah. I don't know. I think on a hearse it makes sense. On a regular car, though, it's a little morbid. Yeah. I agree. But I will say this. What? It works. That's a beautiful blanket on that coffin. It's a beautiful... I think it's a flag. Oh. I think you've just disrespected <laughs> millions of people's cultures. Is that a Scottish... That's a Scottish something. That's a... It's at least King's Landing. It's half King's Landing, half Dorn. I want to go to medieval times. God. That does look like it. <laughs> what is William Pervasi, Shannon? Is that the maker of the flag? I think I think it's the funeral... It says a... You should be allowed to advertise the funeral home. But they quickly took it off because the mourners were freaking out about it. They were freaking out. It disappeared by the time the hearse reached Edinburgh. And I bet the person who put it on there disappeared also. (laughs) The royal family still has that kind of power. (laughs) They made that person, guy or girl, gender is fluid, but they made that person disappear. So yeah. Beheaded. Head on a spike, as they say, Game of Thrones. Oh yeah. Head on a spike. Do you think that the funeral director like leaked this story to uh, like news people so that I they mean, can get even more advertisement for that's free? That's genius to leak the story. Have you ever leaked anything, Mike? Uh, yeah, 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 I have definitely. Yeah. What I, color uh, was it? It was a it was a tint of yellow. I okay, think, for sure. Okay, yeah. just checking. No, from my eyes. Uh, you know what All I right. did? I'll tell what? you what I did. I didn't mean to snap at you. I apologize. No. Um, I wore my contacts when I was sleeping, and I had a leakage in my eye. Right. But in terms of audio visual leak, right. never. I'm very respectful to other people. I would never leak anyone. What, what did your stepson say about that? Nothing, because he doesn't acknowledge you. Doesn't even. Look, <laughs> doesn't even look me in the eyes. These kids. These kids got no respect these days. I'm gonna buy him that flag though, and maybe he'll appreciate me. Yeah. You know what this put flag your was? Name on it. Put, put your name, name on it. it. And it's going to say, Papa Figs. Yeah. Papa Mike Figs. Step Papa. 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 What are they doing wrapping coffins and flags? Is that what you supp- I, I thought you only did that well, if you were she's military. A, she's a leader of state. Ah, okay. She's the head of the entire country, Mike. I hate yeah. to... Yeah. I don't mean to big brother you here, yeah, yeah, yeah. but she is the head of the state. Yeah. So it's kind of appropriate there. Who made that Who made that decision to let that uh Probably let that them. Fly? She's a queen. Yeah. She, you're going to challenge the queen now? No, I'm talking I about... I mean, you're very brave now that she's dead. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, whoever gave the okay to put that logo on the flag, yeah. you, know, well, you know, like you said, where's that guy? He's an he's insurgent. Yeah. And he's probably uh, in Wales somewhere. Inside of a whale. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's go. It was, uh, I was grasping at straws there, but our fans <laughs> understand me. They get me. And I'm like their stepfather. I'm not their real father, but I'm their stepfather. <laughs> Florida father and son severely beat man at wedding reception. Now, this has got to hit home for you, Mike. Oh, you yeah. A, oh, yeah. You come from the Bronx. This is like all the time with you guys, probably. My father hit me with Hot Wheel tracks. <sighs> Did he really? Yeah. That's why I'm overweight. Um, Shannon, talk to me about this Florida father and son severely beat a man at a wedding. Weddings are supposed to be joyous occasions, Shannon, and you're not supposed to be... Beating somebody up with your son, even though that does count as a family activity, I think. That yeah. Maybe that people bond over that. Some people <laughs> do slow pitch um, baseball. And some people uh, jump a wedding guest. <laughs> and that's a family activity. Talk to me about it, Shannon. So um, the the son is Julian Falkenberg, 21. Falkenberg? And the- <laughs> this guy come to your show in St. Louis? <laughs> oh, my God. I love that name. Falkenberg. Falkenberg. Oh, my God. That's like a guy who's a hero that can do your taxes. <laughs> Falkenberg. <laughs> And the father is Joel O'Grady. They don't have the same name. Does it hit home, Mike? (laughs) Yeah. You and your stepson, no same name. Yeah. But would you jump a wedding guest with your stepson? That would be an activity maybe to get his respect. If it would, exactly. If I would get his respect, if I would get on his little journal, maybe my real dad, I would do it. Maybe he'll talk differently when he goes to the first day of school next year. (laughs) Yeah. Core memory. You got to engrave those core memories. Yeah, core. Yeah. Subconscious. We do a lot of subconscious work on this podcast. Affirmations. Shannon? Um, so the dad is 38, by the way. Ooh. Son, 21. Dad, 38. I don't know how to do math. What is that, 17? Yeah. Yeah. So it's, wow, okay. that was fast. Very close. No, that was very close. I've been thinking about it for actually 15 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Shannon. <laughs> and women can think about stuff. 
<laughs> women think about math a lot. <laughs> okay, for you fans out there, like women never think about math. It's a, it's a male dominated area. No, Shannon was thinking about math. <laughs> Okay, but it was in regards to a man who was 38 who punched another man. So that's probably what got you motivated, right, Shannon? <laughs> yeah, you know, you Shannon. love mm-hmm. violence. Mm-hmm. Oh, the victim was 36. Mm-hmm. Um, I can show you a picture of what the dad and son look like. Here they are. Yeah. Um, there isn't, uh, and it says they both have a violent criminal history. Okay. Mm-hmm. Joel O'Grady. Yeah, they do mm-hmm. look like they have the chin line of a violent criminal history and then i can show you if you want to see the face of the man who was beaten do you want to see his face is it really bad it's not great okay Okay. well let's see it our fans have uh they don't eat gluten they have a oh my god oh wow that guy looks um it's a naked guy in a train wow (laughs) everybody looks like a viking they all look like perpetrators look like vikings and this guy looks like a viking so it's pretty crazy so the reason though oh yeah what's the reason shannon (laughs) there's got to be a reason I guess they're they're still investigating it. Besides There's, the fact that it's in Florida, <laughs> what's the reason? There is, they've given nothing in this article. Right. All that it says is that uh, his face requires uh, reconstructive surgery. Yeah. Um, Whoa. Both uh, uh, O'Grady posted posted a oh, hundred thousand dollar bond. Falkenberg posted a fifty thousand dollar bond. Uh, they cannot have contact with the victim. We don't know what their relationship was, what happened in it. Good they, article. Yeah, there's, they did a good it. job. I mean, they leave <laughs> us to do all the investigating. And it's just that uh, the sheriff of the county said that the incident could have resulted in murder. Okay. But it the didn't. sheriff said that? Yep. Oh, did the sheriff give us any more details about <laughs> what this is about? It. The sheriff just goes, it could have been worse. <laughs> all right, sheriff, you've really earned your money. <laughs> God, the sheriff stinks in this town. Yeah, it's stinky. Um, That's it. Mike, let's speculate. Because yeah. that's mostly what this show is. Yeah. It's speculation. Yep, it's yep, an investigation yep. that turns into speculation. Do you think it's a chicken dance gone wrong? It is a wedding. <laughs> Do you think somebody did the hokey pokey? It's mm-hmm. like you put your whole self in mm-hmm. and the guy wasn't putting his whole self in. Mm-mm. Or he was putting too much in. He Ooh, was putting too much self. That's... He was getting a little too close to Aunt Rita. Y- yes, mm-hmm. Aunt Rita. You don't touch Aunt Rita. Which is the sister of Falconberry. So Falcon was like, you know what? Yeah. Son... Let's get revenge. Yes. Team up. Father, son, team up. And that guy had it coming. He you, did something at that wedding. Do you think that they had headpieces and the one guy was like, the Falconberg has landed? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <we're, laughs> there's no information on this story. <laughs> God. The newspaper stinks. They also, also, Mike, if we're being honest, if what? you really want me to use my investigation skills, they all sound like trash. Falkenberg? All of them. No, they look like trash. They sound like trash. Well, Shannon, is the guy brain dead that's beaten? <laughs> I don't know. It just says bad facial injuries. He's going to need surgery. There's not. There's no information here. Wow. He was doom scrolling in that picture. He just woke up. He's doom scrolling. <laughs> yeah. And he took a selfie of himself. They're all trash. They probably had McDonald's nuggets at the wedding, and they're all hopped up on 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 sodium, drinking PBRs. And he's like, wait, wait, you, what are you doing over there, feller? Come on, you want to fight your uncle? Can and then they and they beat the crap out of him. Can I do a joke though? Go for it. Um, <laughs> the, victim, the victim is the victim is brain dead, but that's no different than anybody else in the state of Florida. <laughs> Shannon, if that doesn't make a clip, I don't know why. I'll quit the podcast if that doesn't make a clip. Clip it. Clip that thing. God, that's gonna get a lot that's of likes. It. That is going to go viral. Mike Vecchione doesn't like Florida. Oh, Mike Vecchione slams Florida. <laughs> he Lake Okeechobee's Lake Okeechobee. <laughs> oh, my God. It does say um, he was clinging to life while on the ground at the wedding venue, according to the 911 call. Wow. That's the only additional information. Clinging God. to life. Clinging to life. That's more sad, Shannon. I'm sorry. So we were on a good roll of laughing. <laughs> yeah, these guys are And then monsters. you had to bring medical yeah. reality into the podcast, Shannon. Thank you. I hope you wow. I hope you, you fulfilled your nursing oh, oath. No. I clicked oh, to I a we different playing, no, I, I thought, thought we were playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire <laughs> for a second. <laughs> Shannon, you're really trying to undermine the podcast. <laughs> I thought we were on a game show for a second. I thought that was Fig's Puerto Rican national anthem <laughs> that he had that was <laughs> he told Puerto, you to play. Puerto Rico. I clicked to a different website to see if there was more information, and then it yeah. just started playing that music. I that apologize. was like a 60 seconds, 60 minutes. That reminded me of like, <laughs> on today's news, Florida man clinging to life. It was a Spanish 60 minutes. <laughs> there was a salsa element a la noche. to it. <laughs> I saw you moving your hips, Mike. <laughs> yeah. You moved your hips. I did. I did move my God. hips. 
clinging to life. That means I that... And the white women in the other room felt it. Oh, of course they did. Well, they felt it because I, I'm overweight and I shake the whole room. That guy was clinging to life because they didn't stop punching. They didn't. Yeah, they couldn't. If you're clinging to life, yeah. he was on the floor... Yeah, how about no one broke it up? That's, that's, that, no one at the go. wedding broke it up. What kind of a wedding doesn't break up a fight like that? They're too busy listening to Jason Aldean. Is he bad? He's a Florida, Florida, oh, he's a country, Florida, music. He's a Florida country, country guy. Oh, he's a dirt yeah. road anthem. And yeah. that guy's over clinging to life. Yeah. Verdict, guilty. That guy's guilty. And, and they should have no... I like how that's the article, the thing in the article they included. There's have to no contact with each other. <laughs> the victims and the perpetrator. The guy who almost... You mean to tell me that the guys who almost beat the other guy to death can't reach out to him? Yeah. And check on him? DM? Oh, my God. Instagram? What is this? Fascist Italy? I love people who say that. All right. Um, let's go? go to the next one. Fan fights get bloody during Lions versus Eagles in Detroit. Now, this hits home because I am an Eagles fan, but I do not advocate for violence, unlike Shannon, who loves it. It's not true. Shannon. Only when warranted. Shannon, Shannon. I have a recording of you on the phone. <laughs> Only Can when I play warranted. it? Yes. I have the recording. Hold on, let me play it. Um, if you're not a Phillies fan, I think that you deserve death. Did you hear that? Oh, my God. Isn't that crazy? Deserve death, Shannon? Deserve death. You promised you weren't recording that. I Shannon, was. We were talking gonna, about. We were on Shannon, FanDuel. You're gonna marry a guy who has a neck tattoo that says "Death Before Dishonor." I do like neck tattoos. You <laughs> love a neck tattoo. Of course, he's gonna work at Arby's, but oh. that's just part of his parole until like he gets on his feet. I have another recording. Hold concrete on. business. <laughs> another recording. Let me press play. Hold on. If you're below five seven, I don't respect you. Yes, and you're not. You're very tall. I'm six two. Oh my god, that, that burns. Without me. the Tim's. So that six, burns me. Yeah. Yeah. Can I? You're a young gun in comedy coming up, and you're tall and and in shape. Thank you, bro. I I recently had a crush on somebody who was under five seven. You were crushing? Mm-hmm. Under five seven. Is is he in this room? No. <laughs> Did he have a blackout tattoo? How many tattoos were on his calves? I don't. I, no, there's not. There are some tattoos. Not yeah. not a crazy amount. This calf. I thought you'd both be proud of me. We are proud of you, Shannon. Thanks. That's progress. Thank you. And a step. Uh, do you want to see the video of this fight? Um, yeah, let's, there's a video. It looks like the Detroit fans are winning. Yeah, it looks like a, this. Now, in, in the Eagles defense, this was in Detroit. So this is like a home game for yeah. them. Yeah. That the, the fans were uh, fighting, yeah. It looks like a home Wow, that looks like a Florida wedding. There we go. There oh, go. there's one guy dancing. Guy's, oh my god, god he's celebrating it. it. See, this is this guy's dancing. Look at him. He looks like Robbie Goodwin. <laughs> <laughs> there's Robbie dancing during a fight. Shannon, do you advocate for it, Shannon? Dancing during a fight? I don't know. Yeah. It's kind of sexy. <laughs> I don't hate right? it. Mike, do you love it? Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's taunting his opponent. Yes. He's taunting. Taunting their opponent. And for the record, Detroit lost that game. The Eagles won. Gay so. beard. Gay beards. <laughs> How do you say bur- beards? Birds. Edward Wooter. Let's go, birds. Let's go, birds. Eagles. Eagles. There's go. another. Do you want to see another fight? Yeah, let's see another one. You're watching MMA raps. Oh, this is the worst. Oh, no. Oh, that's that's a stepfather. He's crying. He's punched in the nose. <laughs> and he's got a Barry oh. Sanders, who's a Hall of Famer. <laughs> Hall of Famer. I always like the guys who get arrested and they have a jersey of their favorite player. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, like I, my joke always was like the Jets, a guy gets um, arrested for bank robbery and he has a Jets jersey on. It's like, yeah, he doesn't have anything to live for. That's why he's going out and robbing banks. <laughs> Says Wayne Krebet. Yeah. <laughs> like, Krebet. That was a good uniform. He was a great player. Hofstra. He went to Hofstra University. Okay. I know uh, crazy facts. <laughs> um... Wow. Weekly weight loss shot, a game changer in obesity medicine. Now, this is medical. Enough of the fighting. Let's go medical now, Shannon. What's this all about? Okay, so uh, this is a new shot that people will be able to self-administer that has the potential to cut diabetes risk by 50% and fight obesity obesity as a disease. Uh, the average weight loss was 37 pounds. 
People lost approximately 15% of their body weight and anywhere between a third and 40% of participants are losing 20% of their body weight. Oh it's supposed to, um, there's a protein, I'm trying to find it, uh, that it uh, it stimulates in your body. That's the same thing that your intestines release after you've had a meal. So it just makes your body think that you're full. So it cuts down on your appetite. What's the thing that it releases? Is it gluten? It, it says... Because gluten is good for you now? No, wait. I mean, the tables close. can turn very quickly in the medical community. <laughs> it's se- semaglutide. That sounds like gluten. Does, that sounds close. like the um, smart people's name for gluten. <laughs> yeah. Semi-glutide? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's a glutide. It's like gluten, dude. Totally gluten. Yes. So we can shoot ourselves up and lose weight and be sexy. Well, it's only, uh, oh, it's only a green lit right now in England. It's not here yet. Because the queen died and it <laughs> slipped right past her. Wow. Why is it only greenlit in England? Are there a lot of chunkies in England? There might be. I think that's actually what they call them, Michael. Wait, a chunky. Chunky. Oh, look at me. I'm I, a chunky. A chunky. I put a logo. We we'll put a logo on <laughs> the queen's a logo box. On it. It's a queen's box and they put a logo on it. Castro GTX. <laughs> He's a chunky. I'm a chunky. He's a chunky. I need some of that semi glue. God, we're getting so swashbuckling right now. Damn, dude. The name of the medication is Wegovy. W e g o v y. Oh, Wegovy. Wegovy. It should be called We Pay Ye because it's probably <laughs> it's probably really expensive. What's it? What's it? Is it fifty thousand pounds, Shannon? They measure everything in pounds. Isn't that ironic? <laughs> it's a weight loss drug. <laughs> clip it. Clip it. Clip it. It's the clip. Clip it. 100 shillings go to the fat one. God. English money is goofy, isn't it? So How many good. pounds, mate? <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get, let me get a little Irish there. Okay, all right. I'm <laughs> sorry. Know. You did Scottish. I'm, I'm sorry, sorry hey, Mike. Mate. I didn't mean to disrespect anybody's <laughs> culture. I was just trying to join in. I was trying to be part of it, the fun, too. You were doing it for okay, a while. Okay, and then I lost on it. Then you did Jamaican or something. I don't know what that was. I gambled and I lost. <laughs> Obviously, none of us need this weight loss jug because we're hot. Super hot. But if we were fatzos, would we take it? I want it. Oh, I want to take it, too, just to see if it'll cut me up. Yeah. I'll shoot it right into my throat. But how much more shredded do you want to get? Dude, I'm going to get shredded. But that's a medium. I'm going to get shredded. You fit in a medium. I'm training for Skank Fest. You never know who's going to charge the stage. You never know if Lewis is going to be a circle with men who are defending him towards other men who are trying to punch him. That's a crazy thing that could happen. What if Lewis comes up to you and he goes, round two, doggy. Oh, Let's fight again, yeah. doggy. What do you do? God, you didn't get I probably him? go. I probably just go roast. Yeah. I just probably roast him. Yeah. You know, with my words. Yeah. Words yeah. are more powerful. Words than are more weapons. powerful on the internet anyway. Yeah. And I'll just do live Twitter. I'll just do a live tweet. <laughs> um this weight loss thing is interesting. I think it's gonna be available. I'm I'm curious to see the price of it, Shannon. Do we have a number? Because I'm sure they're gonna charge it. Our country is gonna go through the roof. England it might be it might be uh actually reasonably priced. But um but like the men, uh, you have beautiful hair. Yeah. I have beautiful hair. But men are going to Turkey for that hair centrific, centrific, centrification or whatever. They they inject uh, cells into your head and you grow hair. Mm-hmm. They, it's reasonably priced over in Turkey. So a lot of our guys are going to Turkey to get it. Mm-hmm. So I think it's going to be something like that where it's like we're going to go. You're going to go to England or you go to Canada and stuff where this is available at a reasonable price. Because our country jacks everything up Mm -hmm. price wise so it says that um so the the milligram dosage that they're using in these trials is 2.4 milligrams Mm -hmm. they have there's an fda approval for one milligram and for the cost of a one month amount before insurance it's uh one thousand six hundred and twenty seven dollars so it's more than double that is what you would actually need so it's (laughs) about it's like three thousand dollars yeah and because they don't want it here they want us eating they don't mm-hmm. want us like they want us buying food and eating it. And it's something if we could shoot ourselves up and like restrict our eating, the economy is going to dump because we're not going to b- be buying all these snacks and food. And snack food is a huge part of the economy, I think. Where's the beef? Yeah. Where's the beef? <laughs> so bad. King Charles. Here we go. This is a related story. Uh-oh. King Charles alleged sausage fingers roasted online. 
He has sausage fingers. <laughs> Did you just make that up? No, he has oh sausage fingers. Oh my god. That's... Look at his sausage fingers. I mean, I like the little pinky ring, though. <sighs> Look at me. I'm the Queen of England over here with my little pinky finger. He does have sausage fingers. Oh. Well, you know what that means, right? Well, uh, breakfast? <laughs> He's going to make a breakfast. That means he likes a good breakfast sausage. He likes a good breakfast <laughs> Too many breakfast. He might have uh, gout. He's 73. He's like 73, isn't he, Shannon? 76? Um, hold on. Let me He's check. pretty old, but these guys, these royals live for, like, they have a doctor, like, next to them at all times. Yeah. But he does have sausage fingers. Would you hold it against him? 73. He's 73. He can't take that ring off. It has no, to be all can't. purple yeah, and pussy probably, and grease weird. it up. Yeah. He probably put milk of poppy. I, I use milk of poppy any chance I can use it. <laughs> and um, so King Charles... Um, he can still get any woman he wants because he's king. Women don't care about fingers. Women care about status. 100%. That's what I've learned. And English English uh, sex the icons English system. Are, are very different than our sex yes. idols. Very, very different. They're so enthralled with power. Yeah. He's the king now. Did you see the video of him? great to be the king. I know. Even though his mom had to die for him to be king. Yeah. But I wonder how he's going to rule. That's, how he's going to rule. That's, his, that's her son? Yeah. I thought that was her husband. No, no, no. They, that guy died. What the, these English the, people look like? The, the, the Duke of something, he died. Not too long ago, he died, and then, but he he wasn't the king. He was the Duke of something. Mm-hmm. So, Edinburgh. What's that? Edinburgh. The Duke Edinburgh. of Edinburgh. In Scotland. Which, yeah. His uh, funeral, I think, was a one-man show. Um, <laughs> it was at the French. It was at the French. <laughs> Duke. So he was a Duke, and um, she's the queen. He's not the king. And then now Charles, because of the bloodline, will be the king. Okay. And Camilla will be queen in consort. Okay. Not in concert, like you're probably used to in the Bronx. It's queen queen in consort. Consort. Yeah. Queen of so consort. it doesn't matter that he has sausage fingers. I heard he's very rude. Did you see the video on Twitter where he's at, where he does this to the, the he's sitting at a table and there's like a phone there and yeah. he looks at a guy and he's like Oh, I saw that. Yes, yes. He was exercising his sausage fingers, probably trying to lose weight. In the he was fingers. trying to get the pinky ring off. Yeah. Well, I mean, if he gives you the finger, it's not personal. It just means I just want one sausage with my eggs. Squirt. Next story. Shannon's on a hard out. Squirrel to blame in temporary power outage in Minneapolis. Shannon, let's get to the bottom of this pesky squirrel. I do have to read the very first line in the article, yes. which is ah nuts. <laughs> Good old New York, York Post. Post. I love the New York Post. <laughs> <laughs> they get me every time. Uh, nearly 10,000 Minneapolis residents were left in the dark thanks to a pesky squirrel, squirrel that disrupted power transmission Sunday. What happens is that a squirrel came into contact with some of our equipment that yeah. caused the outage. A spokesperson of their energy provider said the morning blackout lasted just under an hour before crews restored the bulk of the power. There was no word on the squirrel's condition. Do you think the squirrel was sent by the groundhog because we're not taking care of the environment and it's like early winter all the time or and and, and it's just like it's like a, um, we're not taking care of the climate. Do you think it was a message? Yeah. Mother nature. Mother nature. Mm-hmm. The animal kingdom. Because groundhogs predict the weather, but squirrels are their... Um, Uber drivers. Kind of. Mm-hmm. Right? They request squirrels to yeah. do their dirty work. Right. They're like the ravens in Game of Thrones. Right. Squirrels. And these squirrels go out there, and we they want us to believe that the squirrels are responsible, but it's really a groundhog. 100%. God. And there's a lot of groundhogs in England. I don't know if you knew that. They, are there? Mm-hmm. Is that a um, delicacy? Do An they English eat them? Uh, no, they respect them. They do respect them. Mm-hmm. I figured they would eat them when they're when it's like cloudy. Outside. <laughs> Unfavorable. Models wear nothing but tape in New York Fashion Week runway. This story hits home because New York Fashion Week, no more outfits. We're going just with tape and show some of the pictures, Shannon, because it is sexy time. Wow. Yes. Now you we're just talking. tape up your genitals and go out and have fun. Yeah. No more clothes. What do I have to wear? Now it's not a question of that. Black tape? Yep. Red tape? What would you wear, Mike? I would wear I would wear electric tape. Baby. Electric tape. Painter's tape, actually. The blue one. You know what I would wear, Tell Shannon? Me. Police what? tape. Don't cross yeah. this line. <laughs> Don't cross this line. Yeah. Message to Katie. <laughs> Don't cross this line. Very nice. God. I must I must admit, this is a good look. Very I must futuristic. admit it too. Yeah. Like I'm so I'm glad you're talking in um <laughs> biblical terms now. I must admit that I think that it's very good too. 
Oh, yeah. Finally, somebody gets it. <laughs> Futuristic, baby. You would go electrical tape, though, Mike. I would go I would go electrical tape. Yeah. I, I like the I like it. You know why? It stretches. Electrical yes. tape, you can kind of stretch it. Right. You know, duct tape it mm, doesn't have a lot of give. Electric tape, you know, it stops the leaks. Yeah. And uh and it's stretchy, baby. God. Yeah. Aren't you guys more used to duct tape in the Bronx? Well, the kid <laughs> and stuff. Uh, no? How would you know that? Okay, all right. I just heard mm. your borough has quite a reputation for itself. We're, we're coming back. Okay. We're coming back. South Bronx is very gentrified. And we're doing. We're trying to do, you know, the right thing. Go Yankees. Um, I mean, go, go, go somewhere else. <laughs> um, mo- okay, models were nothing but take. And the last one, Shannon. I didn't know I was pregnant until I saw the head pop out. This wouldn't be a problem if you had tape keeping the head back in, mm. right? Right. She's wearing a skirt, not tape, <laughs> as underwear. Underwear is tape, and tape is now underwear. I don't know if you guys were aware at home. Oh, so probably says- just don't wear any <laughs> pants. Our fans. Uh, it says, surprise, a teen mom revealed the shocking way she discovered she was pregnant by going into labor. The woman named Alexis claimed on TikTok that she had no clue she was pregnant until her own mom spotted the baby's head coming out of Alexis's uniform skirt. The 19-year-old who gave birth at 15 detailed her surprising cryptic pregnancy, one that failed to, failed to be detected in a clip amassing more than 2 million, view, million views. Shannon, if the baby sees its shadow, <laughs> is it six more weeks of winter? <laughs> All right, come on. <laughs> now, come on. Okay. Uh, despite negative tests and regular periods, after noticing unusual heartburn, she carried on her regular life until she noticed some back pain, but popped some painkillers, thinking nothing of it until she couldn't sleep. Uh, one morning, she went to the toilet before going to school and feeling the urge to push, called out to her mom for help. That's when she spotted her child's head. Wow. Well, I'm going to make an educated guess. Go ahead, Mike. This lady was a chunkster. Yeah. 100%. Right. She had sausage fingers like me and Prince yeah. Albert. Yeah. And uh, Prince Albert is <laughs> Prince Prince Charles, but that's a good try. <laughs> and, Prince, uh, and, Prince Albert uh, is different. And this girl is very overweight. Yeah. And she, you know. Not anymore. Not anymore. <laughs> and this is why the baby was incognito the whole time. Right. Because she's a fatty and she eats a lot of sausages, so she had heartburn. Mike, do you think it would have been more appropriate if she waited till she went to school and had the baby in the sex ed class? Sure. <laughs> that would have been a teaching moment. Our schools don't seize these teaching moments anymore. A plus in participation, yeah. baby. It says that one in 2,500 women won't realize they're pregnant until they go into labor. Wow, 2,500? <laughs> this is not saying a lot for women. That's a lot of women who <laughs> yeah. have stupid. no idea about their bodies. <laughs> Are you guys just walking around <laughs> not sure of what you're feeling and what you're doing, Shannon? <laughs> Stop. Speak to your gender. Me and Mike really want to know. I feel really embarrassed of my gender. You feel I humiliated think I know. right now? <laughs> yes. I think I think you just nailed women in general. They never know how they feel. They never know how they feel. These women were definitely nailed. <laughs> Shannon! Shannon, come in with the heat at the end of the episode. Wow. Can I defend women really quick? Yes, Natalie, please. <laughs> um, we're constantly being told that our pain isn't real and stuff. Yes. You go to doctors and you're like, I'm in pain. And they're like, eh, you're probably PMSing. Take yeah. some pills or whatever. Give her so 70 maybe... cents and get her out of the office. I have a right? recording of Natalie, actually, if I can go play Go ahead, it. Mike. Play it. Hold on one second. Um, yeah, so I'm a woman and I actually never know how I feel. And uh, I'm on heavy medication. That sounds like if Natalie swallowed Kermit the Frog. <laughs> But yes, that was a great record. I believe that was pretty it. messed up that you would play that on the air. I'm, I'm really hurt. You sent it to me. It was you sent so it to me. authentic. Can Why you guys we- stop texting at night? <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. We uncovered another hidden agenda. Just more sexy people getting together on the Gas Digital Network. Yeah. To be continued at Skankfest, yeah. I guess, right? Yep. Yeah. Well, that's our episode, guys. Mike, thank you for coming in. Oh, anytime. Thank I know so it's much. a dangerous trek from the Bronx. Yeah. And you had to pray for me. Yeah. I got to head back. Crips, Bloods, Latin Kings, and then boom, Gas Digital, you got here. I made it. I <laughs> made it. Thank you for uh, joining us, for Shannon, for Natalie, for Mike Figs. I'm Mike Vecchio. We'll see you guys next week.